station is Salt Cellar Lane. Yeah, have my ace. All right. Slipping out without saying goodbye. All right then. Goodbye, everyone. See you all later. All right, cheeky. Finish your coursework. Dotted every I, crossed every T. You can check if you want. Liar. Can I go out, Mum? Of course, Puddin. Say hello to Vivek for me. Would it kill you to spend some time with your family for once? I will tomorrow. Love the uniform, by the way. I think you look very handsome. Handsome? You look very tidy, dear. Are you sure you don't want to call off the engagement, Ash? Oh, I guess I'm just stuck with her at this point. Off you go, then. Text me when you're on your way home, love. Five pounds I could hit that car over there with a rock or something. Go on then. Nah, what if the alarm goes off? Too scared. No, I just don't want to upset the neighbours. You don't shit where you eat. Oh, lovely. Hey Donna. Hey, you got here quick. I thought you were working tonight. Who's manning the codfather? Nah, Dad's had to close down for a few days. Right in the deep fat fryer again. Not Boris that lived behind the fridge. <laughs> Nothing that exciting. Just a dodgy batch of scampi. Gave some people a runny bottom. Well, there goes that Michelin star. Never a dull moment in the Chowdhury household. Are you both finished?
Did you see that guy just then? The one with the pretty lady? Pretty lady, eh? I've been watching him from my window for a few nights now. Bit creepy. Internet pool not enough for you. I keep seeing him bringing home different girls. Boys too. Vivek, I'd have hoped your parents would have taught you about this. Let me explain the birds and the bees. That's not the weird part. He brings them home, but I've not seen one of them leave. What are you saying? Well, I've had my suspicions for a while, but I'm now pretty convinced. I think he's building a gorilla army. That's dumb. It's probably just a weird sex thing. Weird sex thing, I imagine. Oh yeah, I hadn't considered that. Probably a sex thing, yeah. We should play knock down ginger on him. Let's order him a pizza! No way. We've got to be all forensic and stuff. Covert surveillance, like your sister. I think Emma mostly deals with unpaid parking fines. Getting bored. Want to do some gas? Oh, sweet. I'm up for that. Okay, Becky, what would you rather do? Be put in prison for 10 years, but when you come out, you get 20 million pounds tax free. Or get the 20 mil up front, but you die when you're 35. What are you on about? Come on, which one would you take? I wouldn't take either. They both sound shit. No. You have to. Probably take the 20 million up front, live it up on a yacht. But you die when you're 35. Yeah, I know. Like a really horrible, slow death. Okay, fine. I'll go to prison then. But it's solitary confinement for the entire time. That's okay. And you don't have a bed to sleep on. Just a stone floor with loads of spiders about. You're just adding stuff to make it work. Check it out. Freaky dude's back and he's all alone. Not this again. I wonder where he's going. We should follow him. No way! I don't want to be turned into a human kebab. He is pretty fit. Always thinking about boys. Of course. Let's follow him. I want his number. When he makes high concept art out of your body parts, don't say I didn't warn you. You only live once. Let's tail the creep. You know, he's probably meeting with his superiors in the guerrilla army. I thought you'd abandon that theory. Yeah, I'm coming round to it again. Poor fella, he's probably just run out of condoms. Sounds about right. Could have saved himself a walk. You can get condoms in the loo in the ploughman's arms. I wonder if the entire gorilla arm is made of potties. I can't deny, he's one handsome man. Almost as pretty as you, hun. Ah, oh, make a boy blush. This feels like another one of Viv's wild goose chases. 
Uh, wake up, sheeple. There are crazy things going on in this city. All those three months when he went full flat earther. On that occasion, I was just a victim of fake news. Never been to this part of town before. Me neither. Handsome guy's heading for that old building. Guerrilla army's still not off the table. Building looks big enough to be a fortress. Place is half fallen down. Maybe he's setting up a rave. Okay, but what about all those people he's been disappearing? They're probably all inside having fun. I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm game. You two are mental. What are you going to do? Just walk through the front door. I think there's another way in. Those top floor windows are open. I'm sure we can get up there somehow. Imagine the likes. Okay, I'll take it from over there. <laughs> Run, you fellas! Wait, you guys! Guys, I'm stuck! Guys, help! <sighs> 
What the hell have you done? What do you mean? He was going to attack Donna. That was a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? A little appreciation here. I just saved your life. Dude, bollock naked. He's not dead, is he? He's got superpowers. He probably can't be killed. Vivek, phone 999. Whoa, hang on there. Let's not make any rash decisions. I'm not getting in trouble for this. This was your dumb idea. Donna, what if your sister finds out about this? Well, what do we do then? We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. <sighs> that should hold him for now. Thank God he's still breathing. Okay, so let's call an ambulance. We can call anonymously, they'll just show up. We don't have to be here. Hang on. We've left our fingerprints all over the place. And your sister's a copper? So what? It's not as if our fingerprints are on file anywhere. Come on, Donna. They'll be on the secret government database. Besides, he got a real good look at you. He'll be able to identify you to the police. We can't let him go. For the time being, he has to stay here. Emma? Where the hell are you? Tell me this instant! What's wrong? I'm still out with Vivek and Becky. Well, I'm at Vivek's right now and you're nowhere to be seen. Did I say at Vivek's? I meant near Vivek's. I'll be there soon. Donna. Donna, don't you dare hang up on me. Well? That was Emma. Your sister? Yeah, she thinks I'm at Vivex. She's there now. Emma's at the Codfather. You need to fix this, Donna. She can't come here. We'll go to prison. Oh, shit. Don't worry, Becky. I'll deal with this. Shh! Why are you shing us, Viv? I was trying to get you to stop saying our names. Oh, no. He's awake. The next station is Cobbett Square. Previously on Last Stop. Dad! I know, I'm running late. Let me get sorted, I'll be quick. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Uh, do you have any post for us? Oh, yeah, I do. You know? You see that? Couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Oof. Are you guys all right? You two, you two. We're made for each other. Molly, you're okay. Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Wait, I'm your dad. Uh, no, you're Jack. I'm Jack. Why are you being so weird? Have you got some more of our post or something? Can you let me in? I think I need to speak to your room. Dad. Okay, I guess I'm not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. I'll go and talk to him. Oh, 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 oh God! Oh God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack? Please say that's you in there. What the hell's going on? Why do I look like a T? 
terrible, fat old man! All right, tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? Just open the door. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! I haven't done anything. Do you think I've got a clue what's going on? Wait. I thought I recognised this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! Prefer the name John? I'm not going to complain about that at this moment. Help! Help! Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Your dad's a little bit unwell. So I'm going to take you to school. That's alright, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? Oh, it's fine. He just hit his head on the sink, you know, when he was cleaning his teeth. I told him to have a little lie down. But Mr Gilbert said if you have concussion you shouldn't sleep because you might not wake up again. Yeah, well, sometimes all you need to do is go to sleep and everything will be fine in the morning. That's what Dad says when he got a hangover. Is Dad going to have to go to hospital again? No. He'll be back to normal in no time. Just... He has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. You've never called me Mole before. Will you make sure Dad's OK when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Shaz. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He hit his head on the sink and has concussion. Oh, my God! So, Jack brought me to school while he sleeps it off. Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He, he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. Molly, why don't you run along to school? OK. OK, what's really happened to John? Why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? OK, I can explain. You better. I'm calling the police. I'm, um... John's brother. He doesn't have a brother. Yeah, he frequently tells me the same thing. What can I say? I'm the black sheep. Look, if you don't believe me, ask me something only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Jane Smith. Biggest phobia? Riding the teacups. Makes him feel woozy. You're really John's brother? I am. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Well, not that fragile. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's done a runner.
Get away from me, you lunatic. Amy, it's me! It's Jack! Come any closer and I swear I'll knock you to the floor. Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! He's my crazy uncle. Sorry, I'm pretty sure he's high. How does he know my name? He's lying! Amy, it's me! We've been friends forever! Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, you know, that you're a good friend. That I can open up to you and you'll listen. Yeah, you're a good listener. Well done for listening. Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin, your favourite sport is basketball, you secretly smoke, but you'll never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. The bastard. Oh well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! Great idea. Sorry again about this. It's nothing personal. You just need a cup of coffee to straighten him out. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Will you stop a minute? We need to talk about this. Just leave me alone. Oh, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise. Slow down. You'll give me another heart attack. I can't even look at you. This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something like this doesn't just happen randomly. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. Okay, give me a moment to process this. Shit. What must they be thinking at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. If that's what Jack would say. Okay, it's ringing. Superfab Games, Sonia speaking. Hey, Sonia, it's Jack. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it in today because i got the squirts, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. Thanks. I will. Done. Yeah, Sonia's safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Well, who's your daughter's school? I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. She does like the swings. Okay, let's try there first. It feels seriously weird being you. Ugh, everything jiggles about as I move. How is this helping? Yeah, I'm overweight. Get out your system so we can focus on finding my daughter. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. She's eight. Oh. 
alcohol-free cider. you're all right. Oh, hi Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. We're cool. No worries. Uh, I think I'll do the parenting. Thank you very much. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? OK, uh, let me see. You know on Halloween, where everyone dresses up in different clothes and pretends to be someone else? Well, this is a little bit like that. What? Our brains have got swapped. Well, I guess that's to the point. OK, something happened, we're not sure what. But it does mean that I, your dad, now lives in this body. Jack's. Basically, I'm Jack and he's John. You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. OK. Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Sure. Got any ideas? Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. It's all right. It'll come out in the wash. It won't. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. Well, I guess I better introduce you to the John Smith range. <laughs> Show you what's in this season. <laughs> Molly Cooper. She's a smart kid. I know. I'm a lucky dad. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? Yeah, you get used to it. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. We need to keep up appearances. I can't have me, uh, sorry, you, living somewhere else. It's the only thing that ties me to Molly. On paper, I mean. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? Well, for the time being, at least. Until we figure out how to get out of this situation. <laughs> The more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. Yeah, you're right. We need to figure that out too. Any suggestions? On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. <laughs> <laughs> 